Speaking of data exploration in awk, uh, first, what is awk? So awk is a scripting language that was done um, by myself, Al Aho, and Peter Weinberger. Uh, we did that originally in the late 70s. It was a language that was meant to make it really easy to do quick and dirty uh, tasks like counting things or selecting interesting uh, information from basically all text files, rearranging it in some way or summarizing it. It runs a command on each line of a file. I mean, there's a... Uh... It's still exceptionally widely used today. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's, it's, it's so simple and elegant, sort of the way to explore data. Turns out you can just write a script that does something seemingly trivial in a single line, and that uh, giving you that slice of the data somehow reveals something fundamental about the data. Yeah. And that keeps, <laughs> that, that seems to work still. Yeah, it, it's very good for that kind of thing. And it was, that's sort of what it was meant for. I think what we didn't appreciate was that the model was actually quite good for uh, a lot of data processing kinds of tasks and that it's it's kept going as long as it has because at this point it's over 40 years old and it's still, I think, a useful tool. And it, well, this is paternal interest, I guess, but I think in terms of programming languages, you get the most bang for the buck by learning awk. And it doesn't scale the big programs, but it does pretty pretty darn well on these little things where you just want to see all the somethings in something. And so, yeah, I find I probably write more awk than anything else at this point. <laughs> uh, so what, what kind of stuff do you love about awk? Like, is there, if you can comment on sort of things... Uh, that give you joy when you can, in, in a simple program, reveal something about the data? Is there something that stands out of particular I, features? I think it's mostly the, the selection the, of default behaviors. that You sort of hinted at it a moment ago. What Oct does is to read through a set of files, and then within each file, it writes through a, each of the lines. And then on each of the lines, it has a set of patterns that it looks for. That's your Oct program. And if one of the patterns matches, there is a corresponding action that you might perform. And so it's kind of a quadruply nested loop or something like that. Yeah. Um, and that's all completely automatic. You don't have to say anything about it. You just write the pattern and the action and then run the data by it. And, and so that paradigm for programming is a very natural and effective one. And I think we captured that reasonably well in Awk. And it does other things for free as well. It splits the data into fields so that on each line there's fields separated by white space or something. And so it does that for free. You don't have to say anything about it. Um, and it collects information as it goes along, like what line are we on? How many fields are there on this line? So lots of things that just make it so that a program which in another language, let's say Python, would be 5, 10, 20 lines in ARC is one or two lines. And it's, so because it's one or two lines, you can do it on the shell. Like you don't have to open up another whole thing. You can just do it right there in the interaction with the, with the yeah, operating system just directly. Yeah. Is there other shell commands that you love over the years, like you really enjoyed using? Oh, that major <laughs> Grep? <laughs> Grep's the only one. <laughs> yeah, Grep does everything. Uh, so Grep is a kind of a, what is it, a simpler version of Awk, I would say? In in some um, some sense, yeah, right. Because What is Grep? So Grep is, it basically searches the input for particular patterns, regular expressions, technically, of a certain class. Um, and it has that same paradigm that Awk does. It's a pattern action thing. It reads through all the files and then all the lines in each file, but it has a single pattern, which is the regular expression you're looking for, and a single action printed if it matches. So it's a, in that sense, it's a much simpler version, and you could write grep in awk as, as a one-liner. Um, and I use grep probably more than anything else at this point, uh, just because it it's so convenient and natural. Why do you think it's such a powerful tool, grep and awk? Why do you think operating systems like Windows, for example, don't have it? Sort of, you can, of course, I use, uh, the, the which is amazing now, there's uh, Windows for Linux, so, uh, like the, the, which you could basically use all the fun stuff like Awk and Grep and inside of Windows, but Windows naturally, sort of in the, as part of the graphical interface, the simplicity of Grep, sort of searching through a bunch of files and just popping up naturally. Why, why don't you think that, why do you think that's unique to the Unix and uh, Linux environment? I don't know. I, it's not strictly unique, but it's certainly 
focused there. And I think some of it's the weight of history um, that Windows came from MS-DOS. MS-DOS was a pretty pathetic operating system, although common on an you know, unboundedly large number of machines. But somewhere in roughly the 90s, uh, Windows became a graphical system. And I think Microsoft spent an, uh, a lot of their energy on making that graphical interface what it is. Um, and that's a different model of computing. Uh, it's a model of computing that where you point and click and sort of experiment with menus. It's a model of computing that works right rather well for people who are not programmers. You just want to get something done. Whereas teaching something like the command line to non-programmers turns out to sometimes be an uphill struggle. And so I think Microsoft probably was right in what they did. Now you mentioned whistle or whatever it's called, the Linux. Linux. Whistle, I wonder what's pronounced. WSL is what I've never actually pronounced the whistle. I like it. I have no idea. <laughs> um, but there have been things like that for a long time. Sigwin, for example, yeah. which is a wonderful collection of take all your favorite tools from Unix and Linux and just make them work perfectly on Windows. And so that's a, a something that's been going on for at least 20 years, if not longer. And I use that on my one remaining Windows machine uh, <laughs> routinely because it, it's for if you're doing something that is batch computing command line suitable for command line uh that's the right way to do it because the windows equivalents are if nothing else not familiar to me but i should i would definitely recommend to people to if they don't use sigma to try whistle yes i said i uh i've been so excited that i could use bash that'd be bash write scripts quickly in in windows it's changed my my life okay 